So it's a Friday again, so it's time for another Unraid tutorial. In this tutorial you're going to learn how to install a dedicated retro gaming VM onto your Unraid server. So after you've watched this video, you'll be able to play all those great games you used to play when you were a kid. Cracky. So, in this tutorial we're going to install Lacquer as a VM on our Unraid server. And for those of you who don't know what Lacquer is, it's a lightweight Linux distro that runs RetroArch. So basically, that makes it a full retro gaming VM. And to be honest, I was surprised that I'd not seen this running on Unraid before. But then when I read Lacquer's frequently asked questions, under the do you support virtualization part, I saw it says that it has to be run on real hardware and doesn't support virtualization. Well, let's face it, we're not running the run-of-the-mill ordinary VM software, we're running the best, we're using KVM with Unraid, and we can pass through hardware. So with that in mind, I thought, come on, this has got to be possible. So the reason quoted for it not working in a VM is because they don't use an X server, which would be required to use special video drivers that would be needed to run in things like Parallels and VMware. Okay. So running this on Unraid and VNC is out, but hey, let's face it, who wants to play retro games running through VNC? It would be terrible. So what I thought is I'd try passing through a GPU and installing it that way. I tried my GTX 1070, but unfortunately it would just hang and not load. Now I couldn't understand just why it wasn't working. So then what I found out is they're relying on open source drivers for the GPU, and the 10 series is not yet supported. The kernel in Lacquer, as of when this video is being made, is 4.6.3 and the 10 series would need a Linux kernel at least from version 4.8 for it to work and it's the same case for the new AMD RX 480 this would need a minimum of 4.7 so if you only have a newer Nvidia or AMD card then it's probably not going to work well it won't yet but I'm sure it will be in the future but should you have last gen Nvidia or AMD you should be good to go. There's full support for the Nvidia Maxwell cards and I have a GTX 750 Ti as the secondary card in my server and I managed to get that working absolutely fine. So once you've checked you have the right hardware we'll set this up in four steps. First we'll download and install the VM. Second we'll configure the audio so we've got sound. And third we'll add a mount point to our array so we can store the ROMs there. And lastly, we'll configure a core and play a game. So, let's get started and install this awesome VM and get playing those old games. The thing to do is to download the image. So let's head across to www.lacquer.tv. Then go up to the right here and click on Get. And then to the middle and click Get Lacquer. Doesn't matter which one of these three you choose. But what is important is we choose on this page here, we choose the PC version. So here we have two versions to choose from, a 32-bit and a 64-bit version. We want to download the 64-bit version, so click on download here. As you can see, I've already downloaded the image here earlier. Okay, when the file's downloaded onto the computer, we need to go to the share where we store our VM images. And I'm sure for most of you that will be a share called Domains. But on my server it's called Virtual Systems. So in our VM share, let's create a new folder and call it Lacquer. And then what we want to do is copy our install file into that folder. Okay, so once that's copied across, we can close the folder and go back to our VM manager. And scroll down the page and then click on a new Linux template. And the first thing we'll do is change the name and call it Lacquer. And I'm going to choose an icon for this VM. I've got a custom icon here for Lacquer. And if you want to have this same icon, then please see my video about automatically downloading custom icons into Unraid. And you'll be able to have that icon automatically downloaded to your server. And so next we need to choose how many cores to assign to the VM. I'm going to give this VM four cores. And I'm also going to give it four gigs of RAM. And for the machine type, have it on Q35. And choose the most up-to-date version. For me here, it's version 2.7.
but it may be for you either 2.5 or 2.7, depending on whether you're using the latest stable version of Unraid or the latest release candidate. And now for BIOS, it's very important that we change this to CBIOS, as OVMF will not work. Um, for OS install ISO, leave that blank. And then for the primary VDisk location, we need to go to the share where we just created the folder called Lacquer. So scroll down here and click on Manual, and then browse to that share. OK, and here's the Lacquer folder, and then there's the install image that we just moved across to it. So click onto that. OK, and for the primary VDisk bus, make sure you choose SATA. Now we're going to have to add a second VDisk to this virtual machine. So click on the plus here. As you can see, it's automatically given at the same location as where the primary one is stored. So you need to give it a size. It doesn't need to be very big at all. I'm just going to make mine 2GB. Because remember, all of our ROMs are going to be stored on the array anyway. So leave the VDisk type as RAW, but choose the VDisk bus as SATA again. So after you've added the second VDisk, you're going to have to assign a USB keyboard. So for me, that's the Logitech Unifying Receiver here. And as I said earlier, this VM doesn't work with VNC. However, we can't actually install the VM using the NVIDIA GTX 750 Ti either. Now this is because if we have it set this way, we have to use the USB keyboard. And unfortunately, we can't make any selections in the install menu using the pass-through keyboard but the pass-through keyboard does work after we've had the VM installed. So what we're going to do is we're going to use VNC just to make the install, then after we've installed it, we're going to switch to using the 750Ti. You can untick Start VM after creation and just click Create. OK, and now we can see our VM in the VM list. So next we need to start the VM. And quickly go to VNC and quickly move up to Run Installer. Uh, if you leave it here too long, it will automatically try and run the live install and your boot will hang because you're using VNC. So anyway, move it up to Run Installer and click Enter. Okay, and now we're at the Install menu and we just select the first option here, a quick install of Lacquer. Here it asks us to choose an install location. And this here is the VDisk that we created. So just move across to OK and click Enter. And here it asks if we want to enable the SSH server. So move across to Yes and click Enter. And it warns us that the hard drive will be wiped clean. Yes. And finally, Yes again. OK, so when we're back at the first screen, that means the installation is complete. So now rather than clicking Reboot, we'll close this window here. Then we'll force stop the VM. OK, and now we need to edit the template again. And the first thing we need to do now is to remove the primary disk, which is our install media. So just click on the drop down box and now choose none. OK, so now scroll down and change the graphics card from VNC to your compatible graphics card. And then for sound card, add the sound part of your graphics card. And now click update. So now with everything ready, we can now start up the VM. OK, great, and now we're booted up into Lacquer. Um, now you'll find that your pass-through keyboard works absolutely fine. Use the up and down buttons and the left and right to navigate. And it's the X for select and the Z to go back. So the first thing to do is to go down to online update and press X and then press X again to update Lacquer. And here there's a more up-to-date version of Lacquer than what we downloaded from the website. So press on to X here, and then we just need to wait for that to get through to 100%. Okay, and now that's 100%. Just press Z to go backwards, and then Z again, and now just go down to reboot and press X. OK, so now we're booted back into the updated version of Lacquer. Everything's pretty much the same except for the keyboard controls. Left and right obviously the same, but instead of pressing X and Z for enter and back, it's now enter for select and backspace for back, which makes a lot more sense, I think. So the first thing we need to do is go across onto settings and then go down to Lacquer services, press enter, 
and we just need to check our SSH and Samba are enabled. So just switch them onto on if they're not. And now if we go up to audio and press enter, if we scroll down to audio device, you'll notice that there's nothing selected here. Um, we're going to have to manually edit this to get our audio working. So what we're going to have to do is make an SSH connection to the server. So for that we're going to have to find out what our IP address is. So we want to go to the main menu and then scroll down to information and then go to network information. And you can see here my IP address is 192.168.1.40 so we need to make an SSH connection to the server. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is to get a list of our sound devices. So for that we type A play space hyphen and then a capital L. And here you can see all the different HDMI sound outputs from my GTX 750. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of these here. And I'm just going to pop them into Notepad. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to stop RetroArch running and then edit the configuration file. So for that we need to type in system ctl space stop space retroarch and then that stops retroarch from running and now we need to edit the configuration file so for that you need to type nano space forward slash storage forward slash dot config forward slash retroarch forward slash retroarch dot cfg Okay, and what we're looking for here is an entry called audio underscore device. And rather than just going through all of this and scrolling through trying to find it, if we press Ctrl and W, we can search the file. So just type in audio underscore device and press enter. Okay, and you can see here, this is the entry we need, and there's nothing here at all. So what we need to do is copy what we had earlier here. I'm gonna copy the first one, and just paste that in as the audio device. And now we need to write this file, so for that we press Control and O, and then press Enter, and now we can exit this. So for that we press Control and X, and so now we just need to restart RetroArch, so for that we just type in RetroArch. Now if we go back to where it says audio device. So now you can see the audio device is present and you can change it by pressing left and right. If you find your audio doesn't work, then come back here and select a different one. Most graphics cards have more than one display out and so you need to select the one which corresponds to the HDMI output connected to your monitor. Okay, so now we need to create a mount point in Lacquer to connect to a share on Unraid where we store our ROMs. So the first thing we'll do is we'll stop RetroArch using the command system CTL space stop space RetroArch. Okay, so now we need to run the following command mkdir space forward slash storage forward slash roms forward slash unraid so now we've created the mount point folder we need to create a script called auto start sh and for that we need to type nano space forward slash storage forward slash dot config forward slash auto start dot sh okay in the description of this video, you'll find the script. Copy and paste the script into here, and there's a few things you're going to have to change. Firstly, here where it says username equals, you're going to need to put the username of your share. And here where it says password, you're going to need to put in the password for that share. For the purposes of this video, I've created a username on my server called user with a password of password. And here where it says unraid IP, Put the IP address of your Unraid server. For me, it's 192.168.1.199. And then here where it says share name, you put in the name of your share. 
and for me that's called software. Okay, so there's nothing else for you to change. So now we write the file out by pressing Ctrl and O and we can exit with Ctrl X. Okay, so now we have to change the permissions on the script. So for that type chmod space plus x space forward slash storage forward slash dot config forward slash autostart.sh Okay, now we're ready to execute the script. So for that we type forward slash storage forward slash dot config forward slash autostart.sh Okay, and we can check that by typing mount space the pipe symbol space grep space sifs. And if you get something that looks like this, then you know your mount's been successful. With that complete, we can close this window and close our SSH connection. So now we just need to restart the VM. We can either do it from within Unraid's VM Manager or we can do it from within Lacquer's GUI itself. So we're pretty much ready now to play one of our emulators and load up a ROM. But some of the emulators actually need to have BIOS files. A lot of the emulators don't need them, but some of them do. You better find a list of which do and don't need BIOSes on the Lacquer website. One of the emulators that does need a BIOS file is the Dreamcast emulator. And you'll see on my desktop here, I've got a folder that's called DC. And inside that folder, there are two files, one called DC underscore boot dot bin and one called DC underscore flash dot bin. Now, I can't supply these to you in the video, unfortunately, but if you have a search on the internet, you'll easily find these. And what you want to do is make sure they're in a folder called DC. And now we need to browse our network and find the lack of VM. And inside here, you'll see a folder called System. And this is where we put the BIOS files. Um, some of the files just go in the root of system and some of them need a folder such as the Dreamcast one which goes in the folder called DC. So then just drag that into your system folder and there you've got your BIOS file. Okay, so now we're ready to load up a game. Right then, to load a ROM we have to scroll down to where it says load content. And from here we go down to select file and detect core. And now down there at the bottom you'll see the folder called Unraid and that's the folder we mapped across earlier. So click onto that to get to your share. I've got a folder here with emulation and game ROMs in and I've got a folder called Dreamcast. So let's choose Crazy Taxi and play that. Hey, hey, come on over. It's party time, but let's have some fun. All right, let's go make some crazy money. Go ahead and pick a car and driver. Axel. All right, let's get it on. Hey, 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 it's time to make some crazy money. Are you ready? Here we go. So, guys, there we have it. There's Lacquer running on our Unraid server. It's a great gaming VM, and I really suggest you go across to www.lacquer.tv and check out their website. Well, thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, then please hit the like button and please subscribe to the channel. Anyway, guys, whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's good, and I'll catch you guys all in the next video.